in web development, we often have to have a list of elements in a single line on the web page that uh, each has a gap in between. And that gap has to be the same everywhere and maybe have all the elements centered on the page. Well, here's a mistake I made regarding this for quite some time now, and I'm going to show you a better solution. Well, we're going to start with a simple example. I'm going to have here a container and inside of it, I'm going to create three divs. All right, there we go. And uh, I'm just going to stylize those divs so that we can see them. Doesn't The style of them, the specifics doesn't matter. Something like that. If we try to refresh it, it's a bit small, so I'm going to actually zoom in quite a bit. So we can see that we have three boxes and they are on a, on a different line, each one of them, because they are of uh, display type block. All right. Let's say that we want to put them on the same line. If we want to do that, we can just go here, say dot container and just say display flex. And if we refresh, okay, great. They are on the same line. Now let's say that I want to also center them on the page. So right now they are at the left of the page. We want to center them to do this. We can simply do justify content center. Perfect. That's fine. If you know about Flexbox, this should be pretty easy so far. Now I might notice that there's no gap between those boxes. Uh, let's say if we want to add this gap, usually what I would do is go here in the container div and add a simple margin. So I can say here margin, right, let's say 10 pixel gap. Okay, perfectly fine. If I try to refresh it, at first glance, it looks like it worked. We have a 10 pixel gap between each one of these. Trust me, this is 10 pixels, just zoomed in by 500% so you can see, but it is 10 pixels. Um, but something's not quite, quite right. If we take a look at the dev tools, we might notice that something's peculiar. If we highlight over the container, you will notice that the container actually has three of these gaps. So it has one of them after one, one 10 pixel gap after each box and even after the, the last one. And if you draw the imaginary middle vertical line on, uh, on this uh, web page, you will clearly see that uh, indeed this is off centered. It's not quite. Uh, you know, in the middle of the screen, even though we have justified content, this, the, the whole flex box container, um, this didn't work. And that is simply because we have another gap that has been added to the whole width that we are centering on. So we're actually like five pixels off center. And usually what I would do to fix this would be to take this margin right and move it to a different rule. And that rule is going to be dot container. Okay. So still all the divs in that container, but not, so not the last child of that container. Basically we don't want the last box here to have a margin, right? So we're going to just move it here and just like, so, all right. If we try to refresh now, all of the sudden, everything is centered properly. Now, there are quite a few issues with this implementation. First things first, if uh, we have wrapping, so if we introduce for some reason wrapping, let's say to the container, I'm going to say here flex wrap, uh, I'm going to allow it to wrap, and we also give it a uh, smaller width than it has right now. I'm going to say 80 pixels here, and that should be enough for two boxes to fit in. If I refresh, you will notice that, well, it looks weird. Um, the two boxes have that 10 pixel gap, but like it's not even centered. And the last one also doesn't have any more uh, margin, but that guy is centered. <laughs> and another problem comes in if we also want the elements to wrap. How do we handle the uh, vertical margin? So how do we make each line have a distance between one and the other. Well, that's a bit more complex, but definitely it can be done if we, let's say we add a margin bottom, or so we can say margin bottom, I don't know, let's say 10 pixels as well. If we add that there, that's fine, it works. It's just that it also adds to the, to the last element. And now the whole container is actually 10 pixels taller than it really should be. We don't need this guy to have a 10 pixel margin. So. Sure, you could say that, well, we could edit uh, the same way as we did here, where we had uh, the margin right only on all the elements except the last element, but that uh, that works in our case specifically. But if we actually change the width of our container to be, let's say, 72 pixels and try to refresh it, well, you're going to notice the same problem appears because now on the 
second to last element, we have that margin bottom that we don't need. So we can't really dynamically calculate which elements need that margin bottom and which don't. So that's, uh, th those are the issues with this implementation. So we can all agree that uh, this implementation actually has a lot of flaws. And there's a very good solution to this that has been uh, quite recently implemented, but right now it should be supported on all browsers. And that is using the gap attribute. And I'm gonna first uh, remove this uh, width and the flex wrap of the container. So we have everything as before. I'm gonna remove the margins altogether as we don't need them anymore. We can simply use here that would gap. And what we can specify here is the gap between all the elements in a flex box. So we can see here 10 pixels. And if we do that and refresh, you will notice that indeed the boxes are actually centered and we have a gap of 10 pixels between each two of them. And if we take a look at the container itself, indeed it is properly centered. Okay, and if we actually introduce this uh, width constraint to it again, you will notice that they are perfectly aligned and they have this gap not only horizontally, but also vertically. All right, so we have this gap here, this gap here, and this gap here, and they are all actually perfectly centered as they should be because of this justify content center. Now this gap attribute is kind of neat because aside from being able to specify a gap between all the elements, you can do so on both dimensions. So both on the horizontal plane and vertical plane. So if I change it here, for example, let's say I want no gap um, vertically between the first and second line in the flex box, then I can say zero space 10 pixels. And then if I refresh, you will notice that now they don't have any more spacing in between them. But in between the uh, first two elements, we still have that 10 pixel spacing perfectly fine, or if I want it to be, let's say, larger or smaller, actually, in most cases, you want it smaller than the gap between the elements themselves, then uh, let's say we want it to be five pixels, and that would be looking like so, that's perfectly fine, very easy to use, you no longer have to do some strange uh, <laughs> CSS rules just to be able to have the, the gap between a, a flex box elements be set. And of course, this gap attribute actually works not only for Flexbox containers, but also for grid layout. So we can change this to a display grid. All right, I'm gonna actually remove, let's remove everything, I'm gonna remove this, 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 and even a gap. And if we, well, if you take a look at it here right now, it doesn't do anything. And if we add here grid template columns, let's say 1FR, 1FR, and we refresh, you will notice that, yeah, okay, they are separated properly because there's enough space between them, but vertically there's no margin between them. And we can actually add it by just saying a uh, gap, let's say 10 pixels in this case. And if we refresh, of course, we have a 10 pixel gap there. And also there's now a 10 pixel gap between these two boxes as well. It's just that they are right now forced to be much further apart due to their size constraint in this well, in this grid layout. If I change the width so that it doesn't have a limit, then we should see them have exactly 10 pixels in between each one of them. So that's perfectly fine. And as with the flex layout, you can do the same in the, in the grid layout. You can say something like five pixels uh, horizontal or yeah, vertical space and horizontal to be 10 pixels. And that way you will notice that, yeah, it, it applies only to these two margins. And that's basically all there is to it. You just add this gap attribute for any flex box or grid layout you might have in your program and voila, you have uh, gaps set between all those, all the elements inside those containers. Uh, this works on any modern browsers. This feature has been implemented in uh, 2020 on most browsers, in 2021 on some more niche ones, but it's safe to say that by now you can use it everywhere else. And I just hope that uh, nobody has to use this weird workaround that at least I have been guilty of using for such a long time. All right, I hope you got something out of this video. If you do have any questions, leave in the comments below or on our Discord server. The source code and a couple more documentation links are gonna be found in the uh, description below. Take care, bye.